Herzlich willkommen zu Brennpunkt Kino TV. Diese Aufnahmen, die ihr gerade seht, sind 2011 entstanden, als Brennpunkt Kino eingeladen worden war zum Geburtstag des Magazins Kino News. Ihr seht aus dem Auto gerade aussteigen den Special Guest des Abends. Sir Christopher Frank Caradini Lee, der am 27. Mai 1922 in London geboren wurde. Seit 1946 hat er in über 275 Filmen mitgespielt und steht damit als Schauspieler mit den meisten im Abspann erwähnten Filmrollen im Guinness Buch der Rekorde. Ich werde jetzt nicht die ganze Zeit was dazu sagen, weil ich die Bilder für sich wirken lassen möchte. Sie sind in meinen Augen ein Zeitzeugnis für diesen großartigen Schauspieler. Er war an diesem Abend nicht der einzige Gast. Die Gruppe Glasperlenspiel sang zwei Songs, darunter ihren Hit Echt. Aus gemerechtlichen Gründen darf ich aber leider diese Live-Performance nicht bringen. Danach betrat Sir Christopher Lee die Bühne und erzählte eine ganze Menge aus seinem Leben und Erfahrungen, darunter aus dem Film 1941 mit Steven Spielberg. Ich lasse es jetzt einfach unkommentiert im Original. Viel Spaß damit. so long and uh, but still I'll try to work on it and uh, but please forgive me if I uh, miss it once in a while. Of course. I'd just like to say one thing before we start talking, maybe two things. At my age I should not be doing 
all these stunts. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, the ballet is very difficult. <laughs> Dancing. I would like to thank the gentleman from New Zealand, of Donalds, because I have been to his country six times to do the Herdehinge. It is the most beautiful country in the whole world. And they have had this terrible disaster in Christchurch. But they are wonderful people. I went there six times and they call their country Aotearoa, which means the land of the long white cloud. Okay, thank you for these ideas about New Zealand. So, there is work which is happening at the Amendments Council. Yes, uh, first of all, we do have a common past in a way, at least for a short time. Uh, you have been, among other things, the host of a couple of television shows we did in the film festival in Cannes, film festival in Berlin. Do you remember our dinner with Bobby Goldberg in the kitchen of the hotel? Oh, <laughs> I, I, I should, but I can't. Well, I, I, I help you a little bit. Actually, we wanted to do an interview with Whoopi Goldberg for the television show and the... Oh, Whoopi Goldberg, yes, I remember. <laughs> well, yes, I sat in the kitchen, that's right. And we sat in the kitchen. <laughs> it's the only time I've ever met her. And we sat in the kitchen, that's right. <laughs> yes. And it was actually so that we wanted to do the interview and uh, then I asked her, her agent and he said, he denied and said there are so many other inquiries about this. And I said, well, let's see what we do. I approached her directly on a little side step there. And I said, Christopher Lee wants to meet you. What? The Dracula, she said. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet him too. And so we arranged for this dinner, a very nice dinner with Christopher, Sir Christopher Lee and Lady Birgit Lee in the, and Ruby Goldberg in the kitchen of the Majestic Hotel in Cannes. Yeah. Because the cook wanted to cook something for you for your wife and for Whoopi Goldberg. One of the nicest interviews I ever did. We don't have it here tonight, but you will see it on Kino News TV, I'm sure. Yes, and uh, something else. Do you remember that that was the beginning of uh, our uh, relationship? Uh, that uh, I did produce a record with you. Yes. Do you remember which one it was? No. <laughs> There was a film. I'm very old. I don't remember everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And because I wanted to surprise you, this is why I, I put this in front of you. Uh, there was a film that was shot in Australia for you. Nothing special. Oh, that. Oh, yes, with Alan oh, yeah. Arkin. With Alan Arkin, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, there was you were singing in that. Yes, it was a wonderful song. It was written by O'Brien and Hartley who were very, very famous composers. Uh, and it, it was called Name Your Poison. Now, I am diversity. Very strange, that. But I was. And finally, Alan Arkin comes to meet me. Boom. He found me. Now, Alan Arkin, in his character, was at one time a man who drank too much and became a real mess. I know this. And so when he comes into my big area, at the very end, he's found I'm Mr. Midnight, that is my character in the film. And he says, well, Midnight, now i found you, and so on. And I realize there is only one way to control him. So I do that, and out of the ground comes this enormous bar. Huge, huge bar. It goes up in the air. And I start to sing this song, Name Your Poison, because I know, because of his problems, it will make him very weak, and then 
he will not be able to do anything to me. Now, I said this song was written by O'Brien and Hartley, who are very famous writers. And it is an extraordinary song because it's all about drink. It's much too long for me to sing this, I can't remember it all. But it has over 30 drinks in the song, <laughs> which is really quite extraordinary. The film is called The Return of Captain Invincible, and it has 30 drinks in the song, many of which you would not know, you've never heard of them, a lot of other people also would not know, but it is quite extraordinary because he's if you listen, I will just speak the first few words. My tie. Come on. My tie. Drink. My tie. Um, my tie. Old fashioned. Two. Tre van ordinaire. Three. And it goes on and on and on like that. Might I say that I'm old-fashioned to drink? Three of them are here. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. And there are over 30 drinks. It is absolutely fantastic, so. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to remember... Oh, you, you seem to remember the song better when you are sort of sing it. Could you sing the first line or two from that song? Do you remember that? <laughs> Spielberg is better singer? No. <laughs> Okay. Uh, actually, uh, I, must tell, I must tell you something. I told you before that he used to be a singer, and I, I wouldn't know. I still am. And I still am. Okay. And uh, actually, we had we had a bet out. Can you make him sing tonight, today, or not? And I don't know. Can I make you sing? Well, I was opera and popular, and quite a short time ago. Symphonic metal, all these. I have done. <laughs> and uh, I made a film with Steven Spielberg in Hamburg. Spielberg. <laughs> and I was in Deutschland as a captain. I'm a Japani, um, what do you call it, Japanish, uh, um, what do you say? Obot, yeah. Submarine, that's right. Submarine, that's right. And Spielberg had seen this famous film called The Enemy Below, which was about an American ship, Robert Mitchum was the captain, and the German, Unterseeboot, and Kurt Jürgens was the captain. And the Germans know they, they will not win this battle. And so they start to sing. They sing in English, because of the film, it's in English. But when I did this film with Steven Spielberg, it was called 1941. It is now a cult, cult film, and I had with me one of the great actors, one of the greatest actors I've ever known or seen, Toshiro Mifune from The Seven Samurai. He was the Japanese captain. And Stephen said, oh, you remember that song from that film with Robert Benjamin and Kurt Jürgens? And they sang it in English, the Germans. He said, I would like you to sing it now in German. And Toshi Romifune can sing something in Japanese. <laughs> I don't think it's in the film, but I do remember. So leben wir, so leben wir, so leben wir alle Tage, bei der allerschönsten Kneipkompanie. Bis morgens bei den Brände, bei, bis mittags in mein Bier, bis abends bei den Mädelein in Nacht 
Was? Ja! So leben wir, so leben wir, so leben wir alle Tage, weil an alle schönsten kein Kompanie. Also, well, because this is the 24th birthday of Kino News, with whom I have been associated for many years, and I've known Christophe Maizin for many, many years, I think maybe I should sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy okay, okay. Let's, do so. let's, you. let's do it together. Let's all do it together. You're on the lead and they all join in, okay? In English. Okay. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. You were here, Christopher, and now I'm sorry we have to take you off stage. I know you would have liked to stay here much longer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we want to continue with the program, but thank you very much for coming extra first here to Germany. Sir, Cri Sir Christopher. And now you know that although I am nearly 90, I still sing. <laughs> If you want something from Wagner, I can sing it. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, in 25 years. Das war Brennpunkt Kino TV und ich beende dieses Video mit einigen Fotos von dem Abend. Ich bedanke mich dafür, dass ihr zugeschaut habt.